In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove earwax at home using the Medigrade earwax removal syringe, the link for which is in the description box of this video. Now, it's important to remember that earwax is normal and will mostly fall out by itself without the need for any intervention. However, sometimes earwax can form buildups that result in reduced hearing, earache, or a feeling that your ears are blocked or ringing or buzzing in your ears, known as tinnitus. Now, some people may also be self-conscious of unsightly earwax accumulation. If this is the case, you might want to consider removing the earwax at home. And in this video, we're going to be covering how to use the earwax removal syringe kit, who should not do this, as well as possible side effects or complications. For this, you're going to require the following equipment. First, apply two to three drops of medical grade olive oil in your ear three to four times a day. Again, a link for this can be found in the description below. You should do this for three to five days. Now, NHS UK recommends that you do this whilst lying your head to one side for a few minutes to let the oil work its way through the ear canal. And you might find it easiest if someone helps you to do this. Now, over about two weeks, lumps of earwax should fall out of your ear, especially at night when you're lying down. Once you've applied the olive oil for three to five days, the earwax should then be soft enough and ready to be removed. First of all, boil some water and let it cool to room temperature. You should never use hot or cold water as this can cause faintness or dizziness due to something known as the caloric effect. Before you start this procedure, it's important to read the full information leaflet inside of the box. Next, take the kit out of the box and apply one of the lure locking quad stream tips to the syringe by twisting it clockwise until it's tight. Now, these tips direct four streams of water into the ear canal walls and not directly at the eardrum. Next, you should fill the syringe with room temperature water that you boiled earlier. You're now ready to do the ear washout. You should start off by sitting down. This is important because some people can feel temporarily dizzy immediately after washing out the ear. You should also position a water basin under the ear to catch any solution that runs off or sit next to a sink. Next, tilt your head slightly and insert the quad tip into the ear being cleaned. Now the tips have been specially designed so that they won't touch the eardrum and exit portals allow water to escape, preventing any pressure buildup. You should then slowly depress the plunger to begin the washout. Now it's really important not to do this too quickly or press too hard, otherwise you do risk perforating the eardrum. It is normal to feel pressure, but this should not be painful. If it is, stop using the equipment. If any pain is felt, stop and speak to your doctor. You should also never irrigate the ear with just the syringe. Make sure that you always have one of the quad tips added. Once you've completed the first round of washout, tilt your head to one side to allow any excess water to drain. You can repeat this if necessary. Now it's important to note that blockages of earwax, especially if they're large, may not loosen immediately and you might need to repeat this procedure more than once. Now for some people who've got very severe blockages of hard earwax, this will need to be removed professionally using micro suction. Now you shouldn't try this at home if you've got very sensitive ears, you're currently using any medication in your ears, you have or suspect you have a hole in your eardrum, pain in the ear or tympanostomy tubes, any infection, bleeding or discharge coming from the ear. You should also not attempt it if you've recently had ear surgery, you have a cleft palate even if it's been repaired or if any of the equipment is broken or dirty. If you're not sure about any of these, speak to your health provider first. And remember, this is not intended as an individual clinical advice video, nor is this equipment a medical device. Now, in terms of side effects, it's also important to note that whilst this is a common procedure, there are some potential risks and negative side effects associated with it. Now, this can include the risk of an ear infection due to the introduction of water into the ear canal. There is also a small risk of a perforated eardrum. The other side effects are dizziness and potential hearing loss. And for a full list of side effects, it's important to read the full information leaflet inside of the pack. For more information about the particular products I used in today's video, including where to purchase them, please check out the description box of this video where I've included lots more useful links and helpful resources about earwax blockages.